I talk fast anyways. Uh, that was a nice win for us. Uh, a great turnout. GW fans, and we really wanted to keep them here at least for another day. Um, our guys played really hard. Got a nice lead at halftime, and um, thought we rebounded real well second half. You know, missed a lot of free throws, had some bad turnovers, but give uh, Coach Kellogg and his group credit. Uh, they kept in that game. Uh, we were up 13, 15, 17, and uh, they wouldn't go away. So very happy uh, to get this win. All right, question for the players. Please address them by name into the microphone, Gene. Yeah. Majors, your, your early threes, how much confidence that give you and um, just how much you think that helped the team down the stretch, and you made a couple more after that too. I think I think lately, last couple of games, Mo Creek has, has really been hitting his shots, and I've been pretty much a lot of, I, I got a lot of open shots lately. They just didn't go in last couple of games, and, I mean, coach, teammates believed in me. They passed me the ball when I was open, and they dropped down tonight. Isaiah, with where this program's been, and, and you too, just your thoughts on, on winning a game in the tournament. Obviously, I know you want more than this, this, but this is the first step. Yeah, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. You know, we got maybe six players in double figure scoring, real balance. We they, we hit the storm a couple times. They came back and cut it down to maybe eight. So we just want to keep stretching that lead. So it's definitely a good feeling moving on to the next round. Isaiah, you kept their three bigs to ten total points. Just talk about the battles inside with them. I mean, it's definitely a battle. Caddy Caddy Lane is a big body, and the rest of them guys are just long and athletic. So you got me and Kevin in there just battling. Kevin did a good job on the offensive board late. I think he got two putbacks, so that was big for us. Nemanja, this is your last A-10 tournament. Just how does it feel to have this big game at this time? It's terrific. You know, what else can we look for? This whole season has been great. 24th win. We're looking forward to the game tomorrow against VCU. I mean, we won one, we lost one. Feel, we feel like we owe them. So it's going to be it's exciting. Isaiah, it was just touched on there, but uh, facing VCU tomorrow, you guys split with them in the regular season. Can you mm -hmm. just kind of talk about a little more in-depth about uh, facing them and, and trying to get to the finals tomorrow? Uh, it's definitely a difficult challenge, but we beat them on our home court. They beat us on their home court. It's a neutral site now, so we just got to handle that pressure. If we here handle that pressure, stay out of foul trouble, I think we'd be all right. Isaiah, and you, you guys have talked about getting another shot at Mass after the future every season than last year in the tournament. Just uh, this, That must make the win that much more special for you. Yeah, because last year they ended our season, and that wasn't a fun fun thing at all. No matter how rough our season was last year, we didn't want to end our season short. And they beat us early in the season on our home court. The only loss we had on our home court this year, so getting them back here was definitely a good thing. Anybody else for players? Right, gentlemen, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, Coach, your players touched on it a little bit. Um, you guys split the season series. Each defended uh, home court well. Both teams travel well. Um, what's it going to take for you guys to beat VCU tomorrow? Well, we're going to have to really handle the ball better than we, we did tonight in the game there. Uh, really helped us in the first game as Keith and Savage played and did a great job handling the ball and taking some of the pressure off of Joe. Um, and you know now without Keith and you know as you saw tonight under under pressure we don't have a lot of ball handlers so you know Kevin Larson's gonna have to help us out and uh, I hope Maurice gonna have to do a much better job I think he had six turnovers tonight so it's gonna have to be a team effort uh, it's easier said than done they got a heck of a team and you know, the defense is incredible so not a lot of turnaround team so turnaround time so it's not an ideal matchup for us uh, but you know what we're excited about playing we can play loose and um, and hopefully uh, you know we just stress shots not turnovers. Mike, uh, uh, oh, oh, you were, sorry. Mike, it's little, your thoughts on the balance, six players and, and with at least 12 points, and then you get bench scoring, which has been an issue in, re, in recently. Yeah, you know, it was great. Uh, we we shot well, some guys, but having a money score, I mean, I, I don't know. He was really good early in the year, and, and I looked at the first game against UMass. We had one... Um, one basket and two rebounds combined. That's kind of what we've been getting out of our bench. We got some guys that play hard, but no real production as far as points or rebounds. So uh, I haven't lost confidence in him because he's getting open shots and he makes them in practice. And I just told him, you know, maybe it's not the right thing to do. I said, what I remember from last year is he hit inside of the backboard uh, with a three late in the game. I said, it's not too late, you know, to turn things around. And, um, you know, this is the time of year. It's, I mean, what a great time of year, March Madness and, and seeing the A-10 tournament especially. But seniors step up this time of year. And Moe's, you know, was really good three games in a row coming in today. Isaiah's been great. And uh, to see a senior really, uh, you know, just a smile on his face after the game makes you feel really good. But it's, it's the seniors' time of year right now, and we need our seniors to step up. Mike, UMass is a team that's kind of made a name for itself as a team that kind of starts slowly and then starts to build momentum in the second half and makes a late run. Is that something you addressed with the team at the half and throughout the second half? Yeah, I mean, I tried to, and, you know, coming off timeouts and say certain things, and uh, we just had some silly turnovers, but they're so athletic, uh, you know, 
Uh, we just met, threw, threw the ball right to him. And then Esho, you know, he's had a great couple games in this tournament. Um, you know, he's a handful. And Isaiah got in foul trouble early. So we, we really had trouble stopping them. And, you know, Chaz is so quick. Uh, and they had, you know, some guys hit some threes, and we missed free throws. I thought the, I thought the game would never end, to be honest. It was the longest three minutes of my life. Coach, besides the Monius threes in the first half, it was the defense that got you guys that lead. Can you just talk about the 1-3-1 one, one and how it worked tonight? Yeah, I mean, we, we've been playing a lot, and we had to play it a lot with Isaiah in foul trouble. And, you know, when Monius out there, you really do have to play a lot of, a, you know, 1-3-1. One, one, and, you know, Joe's not 100%. So it's really hard to guard such an athletic team. Uh, in man to man, but uh, we do have good length, and it, it's it, you know it's a good defense to take some threes away. Where you get hurt is sometimes when they penetrate in that middle. And um, you know the first game we played UMass, they were penetrating, just throwing lobs and things like that. We did a better job guarding against that tonight. Um, but you know I just thought you know it was a, it was a hard fought game, and hey, obviously we were more well rested, and I think that definitely helped us. Mike, I'm certainly not suggesting your guys need a wake-up call, but when you see St. Bonnie knock off St. Louis, does it maybe inadvertently give a higher seed a little bit of a wake-up call going into the first round? Yeah, you know, I guess we're a three seed, and um, we earned it, and it's, it's great. I mean, I, I was happy last Sunday people helped us out. We are three instead of tied for fourth or whatever. But you know what? Sometimes I feel like a 10 seed. We were picked 10th, so I, I don't feel like we're sitting here like St. Louis or VCU. You know, we're... You know, we're playing, but I don't really feel like we're the favorite. And uh, I think it's great for college basketball what St. Bonnie's did. I like Mark Schmidt. And, um, you know, it just shows you how good our league is. It, it really does uh, from top to bottom. And, um, you know, the people on TV can say what they want. But, you know, this league's getting six bids, maybe five. But um, I'm pretty sure it's getting six. And if people watch our tournament on TV today, I think they can see that it's just as good or better than the uh, Big East, SEC, AC, whatever. You know, it's right there. All right, two more questions. Mikey, you mentioned your 19 turnovers, but you turned them over 17 times, and the point guard matchup, you know, Joe is 7-1, and one, and then, you know, Chaz is 7, assists, but turns it over six times. Just talk about that matchup and how important it was. I thought we did a better job this game when Chaz was penetrating, really getting six hands in, and we talk about just digging in and um, creating turnovers. And, uh, you know, we were he keeps you on your heels, but we did that, and we left some guys as shooters. Uh, you know, we feel that some of their guys aren't shooters, so we got away with that. But I think we had active hands, and it really created a lot of turnovers, and Late, we did the same thing, but there were a couple jump balls that we didn't get jump balls, and then we had some reach-in fouls. But uh, I thought that was the key. We were aggressive, and um, you know we didn't play on our heels. And when he drove, we didn't sit there and kind of watch the Chaz Williams show. We really didn't quit on place. Anybody else? All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you.